light i will you all are feeling amazing my beautiful scorpios it's been a little minute since i've uh, uploaded and i wanted to uh, be out in nature to provide your reading today i will you all are feeling blissed and highly favored everything is everything on my side of the planet i'm not going to do too much talking i'm just going to delve right into the reading and i will that you all receive these messages and resonate with the messages that come through um as you can see i'm out in nature so uh i, I feel it'll be a dope download for you all um the message that i was getting today was to get out of your head um get out of your head and get into your heart i feel like a lot of scorpios have had to um put up a wall to protect themselves especially whatever you were going through um karmically i feel like that was a uh, defense mechanism to uh guard yourselves from further disappointment i feel like there's the relationships that you may have found yourselves in um were definitely disheartening um and disharmonized you know you weren't in as solid relationships as, as you have initially thought and i feel like in order to heal, in order to protect yourselves, there has had to be a wall that you have had to put up. Um, and I'm hearing 20 foot, uh, 20 feet tall, like, you know, a wall that's 20 feet tall. I'm hearing that Erica Badu song. Um, and this was all a defense mechanism. Uh, Scorpios are usually very loving, inviting, very nurturing. Uh, but when you are betrayed, uh, you do turn, tend to turn into like that queen of swords or king of swords energy to protect yourselves so you get out of your heart and you get into your head and sometimes when you're too much in your head you could overthink you could pine you could become very anxious very overstressed and so i feel that energy um some of you all have been navigating especially with all of this celestial energy that's been taking place with the solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, we have full moon. Um, we we've had uh, a lot of um, energy, you know, that we, that we've been navigating uh, for the past couple of months. Literally, you know, just came out of that Mercury retrograde, um, and we also have Pluto in retrograde. So it, it, that's your ruling planet. Um, Mars is as well. Uh, but Pluto is as of late, you know, defined as Scorpio's ruling planet. And that energy is all about regeneration, transformation. Um, it's the a pinnacle of death and rebirth. Uh, so I do feel there's been some cycles closing up, wrapping up things that you have come to uh, realize about yourselves or about those connections that you've been involved in. Um, and I do feel like these things have... Um, enabled you to be real realistic with yourself be honest with yourself uh even if it comes to um not just like love ships relationships friendships but even in terms of like work dynamics your career um things are changing in a, in a magnificent way um this isn't anything to to uh to be concerned with uh so long as you're being honest and and, and uh, honest with yourself about your heart's truest desires. Um, we're in a different stage and phase in our lives, and it's no long. We can no longer live to appease others or live to to satisfy other people's needs. Um, I feel like that for a long time has been something. And there's a plane going by right now. Let me just let it go. I don't know if you all could hear me. Pardon me. So, yeah. So, I don't know if that's something that you all have, like, come to realize. Like, you can no longer uh, live, you know, in any type of facade. Um, you have to be your authentic self. You have to do what speaks true to you. And I feel like that's just where you are in your lives right now. Um, cutting yourselves free literally and figuratively from anything, whether that be a job, whether that be a person, whether that be a particular location you reside in. Um, it's about letting letting go of those things that you have discovered um, does not honor or serve your highest good. Um, so what we have playing right now is we have REL, and this is featuring Jay-Z, and this is called Love for Free. Um, the time on the clock 
is currently 704, so that reduces to 11. And 11 is justice. So I do feel like, you know, for some of you all, you may have felt like you gave a lot of yourself, you know, a lot of yourselves to other individuals and it was almost like free because there was no reciprocity perhaps. Um, maybe you felt like you were giving more than you were getting. Um, with love for free, I'm, I'm definitely getting a sense of you not doing that anymore. Like you are no longer participating in giving anything for free. There has to be an equal give and take, an exchange, an equal exchange of give and take because that 11 breaks down to two. Um, so I'm seeing like the two of cups. You first focusing on healing yourself and loving yourself um, to then be able to come into any type of union so that you both can pour into one another because you've already filled your cup on your own. So love for free is about, you know, knowing your own self-worth first and foremost. Um, being self-disciplined in that regard, um, prioritizing you. Um, Self-love is the best love. So I feel that that is something you've had to learn. Love, love is an inside job and no one can come in and pour into your cup um, to make you feel full or to validate you. That is something that I feel spirit wants um, you all to do for yourselves. And maybe that's a karmic lesson that you all have learned uh, recently uh, from your relationships. Um, Scorpios typically will learn the toughest lessons by the people that they love, the people within their circle, because those are the only ones that Scorpios will really entrust with their with their their heart you know um those are the only ones that scorpio will allow in are the people that they have you know called friend called brother sister mother family members a friend whatever um colleague uh so it's usually the ones closest to you that will hurt you or the ones closest to you that will teach you the toughest lessons and so with that 11 showing up i do feel like um whatever you've learned karmically as long as you've sowed you know your you've you've uh planted your seeds or sowed in good faith um as long as you um put good energy out there as long as you were uh positive in the actions that you took i feel things are going to come back and turn around in your favor i don't feel like um any of you are going to have any uh bad karma uh coming back i feel things are going to be handled fairly and justly for you so whatever lessons you've learned um pertaining love, pertaining uh, self-love. I feel like that was um, that was a part of your growing pain. That's something that you've had to um, brave on your own. And the sun is shining. And this is very beautiful how the beams of light are coming. You know, it's like the sun is shining right here. I might have to move my camera at some point because I don't know how that's affecting you all. But um, I just feel like the lessons that you've been learning, you're going to start applying what you've learned and you're going to start attracting to you what you desire and what you deserve so let's see what we have coming out with the cards that's just what i'm picking up intuitively and look what we have self-love self-love so self-love this is an inside job and with this number 61 7 that is your crown chakra. So the crown chakra, when you get to the crown, because Scorpios rule the root chakra, that's life, death, regeneration. Um, you know, that's your security. That's your your family. Um, that's your childhood. Uh, those the, that's your family lineage. It, it, it's it's those things um, that make you who you are. And with the 61, that means that you have uh, graduated or elevated or ascended to your crown chakra and you've learned to love yourself. You've learned that love um, was an inside job. You've learned that you had to love you first. Some of you all didn't love yourselves enough. And look who's playing. I spoke to Erica Badu and we have Erica Badu Yayo. And so Yayo is, she's speaking to like that's a, a umi, a mother figure, um, a maternal figure. And so I do feel like that was like you had to tap into your oof, bugs. You had to tap into your divine femininity or your divine masculinity. Um, that's literally like a maternal or paternal energy, nurturing, loving, um, very devoted to caring for you, learning to prioritize you. This is about personal growth. Um, as I said, ascending up to that crown chakra, reaching that space of, um, you know, just having, uh, 
a deeper, more profound understanding of the self, um, and even ascending to your higher self, growing, you know, evolving. So this is very powerful. On the split, we have relationship change. And that's 11 and 7. So that's 9. So there's a change. There was something that changed. So with this relationship changed, um, I feel like there was a breakup because I was getting justice. So you've learned some karmic lessons in some form of a relationship, whether this was, as I said, um, a love ship, a friendship, or maybe even a work ship. Um, you've learned some lessons. Something has changed. And I feel like what has changed is the way that you feel about you realizing that you have to prioritize you because the self love is indicative of self discipline self discipline is knowing your worth knowing your value knowing what you deserve and not settling and so perhaps that's why this relationship changes here is because you've initiated some change um you know after experiencing um some disappointment because this 11 that we see Remember, we saw 704 when we started the reading. So that is saying that there was definitely something karmic within this relationship that needed a change, that needed an adjustment. And when you started to kick in that self-love, that's when it was easier for you to make the change necessary to find this happiness. This nine that these cards reduce to is giving me like the nine of wands where you may have um, established some sort of boundaries. Uh, you started to realize that you were giving a lot, giving a lot, giving a lot and not getting enough in return. So it's like you were um, constantly um, tending to people, constantly uh, being there and showing up for people, being um, being genuine but then feeling on this at the same time um disappointed or feeling like there was a lack of reciprocity so i feel like spirit really wanted you to focus on loving you um focus on self-love that made you uh that made you stronger i feel when you love yourself you see that yeah so there was a change in a love connection it was something that changed not only within a love relationship, but I also feel within your work dynamic, like you loving you has changed a lot in your life. You you may have started to um, reassess like your your work dynamic, where you were working after a breakup. Um, you started to reassess your friend groups, perhaps after a breakup or started to assess like your dynamics as a whole your relationships as a whole so let's tap in beloved let's see what's coming and going out going on with my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection for my beautiful scorpios i have a little bird here dove here singing to us i don't know if you all could hear it he's just been singing and he stops of course when i mention it <laughs> go ahead i didn't mean to interrupt you <laughs> so the bottom of the deck overall energy and we have relationship change so there's something changing some relationships are changing uh this is that 11 that we saw so either you're making a decision to change something or, or you've already made this this decision and i feel like you're going to get your just due i feel like things are going to work out in your favor because this 11 is very much um indicating that you're choosing you you're making a decision about something um that you feel no longer fits in your equation and we have jay dilla too much playing so maybe something became too much maybe things were um too stressful for you maybe there was a lot going on within this connection and it just became overwhelming maybe there was it was um you didn't feel someone was um, holding up their end of the bargain. On the bottom of the deck, we have 48 uh, discipline, financial discipline. So maybe you felt like somebody was constantly um, depending upon you um, for money or depending on, on you for um, their stability, their security. Um, with too much, I feel like there was too much perhaps responsibilities on your shoulders. And you just you made a decision that would uh, prioritize you in this equation. I don't feel there was an equal give and take, which is why you've made this change. I feel like you've made this change because you felt like something just simply wasn't it wasn't fair. There was a lack of reciprocity. Maybe this was at a job. 
and I feel like what you whatever you're going to be doing, you're going to be pursuing something that um, that you feel love like you feel like this is something that you enjoy I get a sense of like you embarking upon something that really is your passion this is something that you have learned and with this three this is like giving me like the three of pentacles so maybe you're already working on a particular idea you know you're turning your thought into reality so you could be working on a new idea you could be um, like learning building your skill set I feel something is changing uh, where you all may have like just recently uh, perhaps like resigned from a job retired maybe you're thinking about retirement Maybe some of you will be turning 56 this year, 48 this year. Maybe some of you were born on 11-11 or in the month of November. Or maybe you were born November 3rd, no, uh, October 30th. Let's tap in. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Spirit. So whatever this is, this too much, you're you're getting rid of it. Maybe you felt like you had too much responsibilities at work. Maybe you felt like there was too many people, you know, in your business. Maybe you just felt like your connections overall were not harmonized. So who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have forgiveness here. This is the number um, 96. So this could be a karmic that wants forgiveness. And we have SOS, tell me if you still care, playing. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I should keep showing you if you can't see it. Because <laughs> the glare, I don't know if you can see it because I can't even see it. And we have creativity here. So this will be the energy on the bottom of the deck when I pull the energy of how they feel about you. This is what you're attracting to you or who you're attracting to you. So with forgiveness... I just feel like there's some some karmic, you know, there could be a, an apology. Someone wants to know if you care about them because you've walked away. You've chose yourself. Maybe someone was indecisive. Maybe someone was playing both sides of the, you know, the fence. This is someone from the past, definitely. With both of these blue cards, I do feel it like there's no communication. So I do feel like there was a sense of like you ghosting someone, you know, not speaking to a person. Because these are both blue cards. Blue deals with the throat chakra. So someone wants to express an apology or someone is, you know, thinking about how to apologize. Maybe there's a message coming in abruptly that you are not expecting. This is because someone sees you. Um, as an empress, very attractive, very beautiful, very loving, nurturing, caring, kind. If you're a masculine, you're very protective, you know, very, uh, a provider, devoted, you know, um, resourceful. This is this is the empress energy. This is also the solar plexus. So I do feel someone could be trying to muster up the courage or the strength to apologize, or someone is seeing something very different. It's like they their their eyes have been widened in regards to who you are maybe they see you as sunshine someone who brings a lot of light in their life or someone who brings a lot of love into the equation or someone very caring someone very wise very intuitive i see spiritual partnership underneath this and the six here this could be you know like because 96 reduces to 15 which is six so this could be like, you know, perhaps like a someone who feels like, um, pardon me, you're like the twin, you know, the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin. Or this could just be someone returning from your past. We're still navigating that um, residual mercury energy, mercury retrograde energy. So someone from the past could potentially uh, still be coming in, coming back, you know, returning, apologizing, perhaps how they feel about you. We, like I said, we have this three creativity so they do see you as someone who's like a master builder, someone who's very wise, someone who's always reinventing themselves, someone very informative, someone always learning, growing, evolving, someone who is, um, you know, very powerful in their own right, self-aware, confident, someone strong. 
just a luminous, a very luminous energy. So let's see, how does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I feel like you will be in the spotlight for something. Whatever you're creating, whatever you're building, it will it will be very successful, whatever that may be. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. How does this person or how will this situation feel about our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. So you have two messages to clarify that. And we have follow your dream. So you could be someone's wish fulfillment. Or this could just be speaking to you pursuing your dreams. Because you've had some sort of transformation. You realize who you are. Your worth, your value. I feel like you've turned pain into power through some karmic lessons. And now you're unstoppable is what I heard in my mind's eye. So you're going after something full throttle. And there goes the seven, the personal growth I was picking up on. So it's like you've realized your power, you realized your worth, you realized your value. And this this is the same 11 that we saw. So this is all about karmic justice. This is about uh, you learning lessons, persevering through them, and now, you know, being fearless, being being fearless, being bold, being, you know, willing now, willing to go after what you desire. How they feel about you, creativity flew right back out. With all that shuffling I did in this spiritual career. So someone feels like you're gifted. Someone feels like, you know, you have some sort of gifts, whether these are psychic gifts, spiritual gifts. I feel like this is like they see you as someone who's very wise because this six and this three breaks down to nine. The nine deals with the hermit. So you may be seen as someone who's very isolated or secluded, but you're like a sage. You have a sage like energy. Whether you're intuitive, in, uh, whether you're a clairvoyant, a clairaudient, whether you are a scryer, a psychic, a healer, a shaman, a light worker, a Sufi, a sh whatever it is that you do, it's like they may see you shining. They may see you are building a brand or building um, your platform, building your knowledge. And this is going to put you in the spotlight. I feel like you're going to be very successful. I feel like you're also like braving your light getting past your fears whatever you've been like whatever's been hindering you in the past it's like you're not allowing that to happen anymore because you're going after it full throttle like you're not allowing any fears or any one in particular to block blessings for you I feel like that's what you felt in the past as well is like that's why you made the change is because you felt like you were stuck you felt stagnant Maybe you felt someone was suffocating you or something was suffocating you with this forgiveness. This could even be you forgiving yourself or holding on to a situation that was not becoming or something that was not um, it wasn't destined for you. So you've had to like let go of it because you learned it was it was designed to teach you lessons. So that that was a karmic lesson that you've had to learn. With this two and this six, that's eight, eight and three, that's 11 and 11 um, and six is eight again. So, yeah, this is you like you've been very uh, hopeful. You've been holding on to hope like, you know, there's infinite possibility. So you you speak positivity, you speak what you desire into the ethers. You may write your petitions down. You may do like little rituals or spells to manifest what you desire it's like you're a master manifester. I feel like you've been very hopeful, like you've really healed from a lot of past pains and traumas. You've even forgiven yourself. Maybe this is you, you know, forgiving yourself. You finally, you know, saying, um, you know, finally forgiving yourself for whatever decisions that you've made in the past, which could have landed you in some, you know, unfortunate circumstances. But those cir circumstances have taught you valuable lessons. So it's almost like you've grown through whatever that uh, circumstance was. It was a growing pain, but it also elevated you to empress status, where now you have reached a level of self-mastery. So much so that you are embarking upon this new spiritual career. Someone feels, or even if this is universe source, saying that you're now ready for the spiritual career. We have right now very special so you are seen as very special. You got very special playing. So you are very special. Whatever your gift is, is very special. 
That's why you're being told to embark upon that. That's why you are being very fearless, going after what you want. This four, that this 85, that first breaks down to 13, which is like transformation. That's a death. So it's the death of the old. It's the death of the old ideologies, belief systems, habits, behaviors, things that you used to do that wasn't serving you. That's why there's a change, a relationship change within yourself, a relationship change within your relationships, period, your love ships, your work ships, like I said. And even with the self, forgiving yourself because you realize how special you are. Whatever, you, whatever's hidden, it's a very special. It's it's special. Maybe this is like success that's hidden for you, because you have a special gift. That's why the spiritual career here is here. So what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. What is hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What is hidden in the energy? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection from my beloved Scorpio spirit. You may not see this coming. I feel like it's going to sneak up and surprise you, whatever this is. So 8 and 3, that's 11, 11, 6. So yeah, this is a wish fulfillment. I feel like this is something that's going to sneak up and surprise you. So this card is like loose. So I'm going to let that fall. Bottom of the deck, we have 33 communication. And remember I said I felt like somebody wanted to communicate. Maybe this is you receiving downloads, divine interventions, transmissions. You know, maybe there's some um, communication coming straight from source. Or maybe you're just having some sort of epiphany. I just saw a blue bird. So this blue bird and then blue, remember I was saying I was seeing a lot of blue, blue deals with the throat chakra. So there will be communication coming in. Maybe this is some exciting news, you know, with very special. Maybe there's a blessing and answered prayer because all of these cards that's here reduced to eight. So that could be that wish fulfillment. That could be a blessing in disguise. That could be a miracle taking place with this communication. I feel like spirit is also saying someone could be uh, communicating with you, reaching out to you, or just trust your intuition. So we have love partnership. So a very special love partnership apparently is coming. And this could just be you, you know, loving yourself as well. But this 826, I feel like someone is entering your life. Because remember, we had eight already. So this could be like unexpected, something abruptly changing in matters of the heart. This is like a really special love connection, a love dynamic that you have with someone. Um, I feel this is also like a wish fulfillment with the eight and the eight that reduces to 16, which reduces to seven. So someone could be like rushing in. I'm getting the chariot with that eight and eight because the chariot is um, associated with that number seven. This is someone who's also has, you know, um, perhaps they're exe leaving a certain circumstance behind. Maybe they realize you're very special to them. You will be receiving a message. And I feel like with that chariot that I was getting with the eight and the eight here. This is someone who does feel um, like you balance them out or there, there's a balance. There's harmony between the, the two. And what we have playing right now is Prince Marky D soul connection. I can't make this up. Rise in power to the brother. So soul connection here. So there is a soul connection. This is like uh, because the, the chariot is um, there's a black and a white horse, which is pretty much like, you know, that yin and yang energy. So this is definitely someone who is a soul connection, a twin flame. This could be like, a you know, the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. There will be communication. Maybe this is someone that dreams of you, thinks of you. Um, I do feel like there will be communication. Trust your intuition as well, because six is associated with the first eye. Maybe intuitively you could pick up on that energy, or maybe you just, you know, like use discernment. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpio spirit? What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpio? So you got a couple of messages. Wow, that's a lot of cards. And we have follow your dreams. Maybe someone is coming towards you because they feel you're a wish fulfillment. Maybe you're someone that they feel a very strong soul connection, soul tie to. And this is someone that definitely um, could be coming towards you. We have this uh, 11 individuality card. So there could have been codependencies. I feel like you've learned recently 
um, to be independent. Your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, your happiness. So maybe that was something. The outcome is like individuality. Somebody could be leaving something to come towards you with physical activity. There's going to be a lot of action. Like So this, this is about being uh, proactive, you know, taking the necessary steps, necessary actions. We have uh, domestic harmony here, 46, and then we have communication. So I do feel if someone is in a partnership with this 46 domestic harmony, I feel like there is perhaps, you know, an end to a domestic situation. If someone is in a relationship and they are breaking free from that with individuality, I feel with that 11, you know, maybe that was a karmic lesson that you've had to learn. Because remember, we opened up the reading with 11. And that is all, you know, um, you know, when you're in a codependent circumstance, it's really, it isn't healthy, it's imbalanced. And that was the change someone had to make, or even if this is you. I feel there wasn't a l enough effort on everyone's behalf or everyone's part. I feel like you may have felt like you were doing all the work or someone else could have felt like they were doing all the work, but I feel like there was not enough effort and that's what led to the demise of a connection, a partnership, a work dynamic, whatever this is with individuality. This is about stepping out and embarking upon whatever this dream is, you know, not being told what you can and can't do by other people, not listening to other people. This is what's on the bottom of the deck, the, the following your dream. So this is leaving something that does not serve your highest good, whether that is, you know, codependency of a job. You know, when you're codependent on a job, it's like you just keep the job, even though you can't stand the job. It, it, it lowers your vibration. We can't just stay places for money. We, we have to be true and authentic to ourselves. So that could have been a connection that, you know, that you, you, you may have had to sever. Maybe some of you all have walked away from a situation. It was no longer harmonized. You can no longer hide the fact that, you know, maybe you weren't as productive as you initially started out to be because you didn't have that passion or desire to be a part of something. Or maybe this was someone else. But I feel with communication, this is like that epiphany or that aha. This is like that download you receive, that confirmation that it's okay to walk away or it's okay to release something, to let something go. And I saw 3232 when I was in the middle of my build. And that breaks down to 5-5, five, five, which is 10. So that is what led to a demise of a circumstance or a situation. So let's tap in. Let's see what we have. We're going to pull some messages from my deck, and then we're going to wrap it up. So we have financial freedom here on the bottom of the deck. So this could be, you know, your pursuit right now. You know, you could be in pursuit of becoming financially free. So like I said, you know, I'm um, leaving a job, leaving, uh, you know, a circumstance behind, you know, no longer being codependent. We have um, Nas, Raekwon, Mob Deep, eye for an eye. You know, so an eye for an eye, that's another way of saying, like, you know, you get what you give. And so with eye for an eye, with, you know, relationship change, I do feel like, um, and it says your beef is mine in uh, parentheses. So, you know, perhaps, like I said, justice. So as long as you, you've sowed in good faith, you will receive good karma. So with your beef is mine, maybe there was a lot of tension, a lot of drama in a workplace or a lot of drama in a relationship. And that's what you, uh, you know, that's why you made the decision to walk away from something because you can no longer um, put up that facade. Like I said, you didn't no longer have the energy to entertain it. So let's tap in. Let's let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So divine spirit of peace, power and protection. Why is relationship change here for the overall energy? And we have she loves me. She loves me not games mixed signals so yeah you were feeling a lot of mixed signals we have uh thunder clapping prepare take shelter so the thunder clapping is like communication and changes so that definitely is saying like there could have been a lot of arguments a lot of fighting a lot of hostility drama negativity gossip whatever the case and that all came in the form of communication maybe there was a lack of communication we have four page letter 
and it says these are my thoughts should I send it text delete and then we have dreams don't forget them they are more than something you wake up from believe so that sounds more like that follow your dream so some of you all because this all fell out for relationship change I feel like this is exactly you know what what you started to realize about yourself about your circumstance is that you know you you had dreams that you wished to you know follow and embark upon you had you know a soul desire um, something was burning within you um, and you knew it was time to change you you started to feel yourself exploding um, maybe there was a lot of circumstances that were imbalanced and it caused a lot of confusion I feel like you for a long time found yourselves um, feeling silenced like feeling like you didn't have any power in a circumstance uh, there could be someone trying to apologize this is giving me the feeling like I should put this next to forgiveness but these all fell out for this card so I'm gonna just leave it there but with four page letter these are my thoughts should I send it text delete I feel like for a long time maybe you were grappling with some sort of decision you know and and you're finally just you know you you've sent it you know maybe you were trying to make a decision on whether or not you wanted to send that resignation letter or whether or not you wanted to um, go through with a certain divorce um, whether or not you wanted to send that email to you know a friend with whom you felt disappointed and you just did it um, with dreams you're following your dreams you're doing what matters to you now you know this is about uh, your happiness your joy your peace of mind um, and also overall like you being satisfied you feeling satisfied so you're doing what best serves you now with she loves me she loves me not games mixed signals with this forgiveness maybe this is you know what you were experiencing with someone there could have been someone who may have played a lot of games uh, was like in and out unreliable kind of flighty um, someone who definitely was like you know a playboy or a play a player from the Himalaya and now they're seeking forgiveness or coming back to apologize perhaps um, and you're feeling like maybe this could be just another emotional roller coaster ride that someone uh, could potentially be putting you you know placing you on but let's tap in and see so why is forgiveness here and we have um, total and this is called kissing you so why is someone thinks about kissing you also this is something that's constantly in their head they could be dreaming of you dreaming of a kiss maybe you had a very intimate kiss okay so that card flew out and so we have perform a release ceremony write it down and burn it take the ashes to a body of water or outside and release it let it go let it flow so this is what you're doing I feel like you are releasing things that no longer serve your highest good just as I said like you're you're forgiving yourself whether this was matters of the heart whether this was a decision you've made whether these were karmic lessons you've had to learn it's like you're letting it go you're releasing this if you have not fully release this and forgiven yourself this is what spirit is saying that you need to perform a release ceremony and let go because when you don't forgive you you harbor that animosity that resentment you you you're like anchored by your emotions so it's it's time now it's time to write down your feelings and burn it release that let it go let it flow and we have mama Oshun so this is your energy mama Oshun is a powerful Orisha and she deals with water she's mama Oshun like ocean so you could perform like a release ceremony in the ocean or in a body of water and you can give an offering to mama Oshun I feel like she's telling you to even take spiritual baths to cleanse your energy clean clear cleanse your energy even clean clear cleanse your space this will provide clarity and this will also um, remove any attachments because I feel like there's still energetically a lot that you're holding on to and even you know in your mind you know this is like all in your head you're stressed you're overthinking pining ruminating mama Oshun is saying you are beautiful you know self-love is the best love self-love is attractive so it's like really um, forgiving yourself for things that you may have um, that things that you may have uh, been a part of longer than you should have been with kissing you it's like you know 
there could be this element that um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm with kissing you. I'm not getting anything. I'm getting something with total, like, like you're now, like something is is totally done, karmically done. Like it's 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 kaput. And it's like just trust that. Mama Oshun, she attracts everything she desires, because she's beautiful. She's lovable. She's a goddess. This has built an emotional connection over a physical one. So that's where you are, whoever you're attracting to you or whatever you're attracting to you or how they feel about you is that you're more focused on a spiritual connection. You're more focused on um, savory connections, not just physical attraction. So maybe that's why the kissing you is here. So you're not interested in just having physical attraction. You, you want something deeper. You want to... Um, you know, you want to be courted, you want to be, you want to be, uh, you want to be wooed, you know, so this is like, that's what you're focused on, maybe in the past, that's what you were dealing with, was a lot of physical, um, connections or physical relationships, and now it's just like, you're being very intentional about having something that is more emotionally, um, emotionally fulfilling, so why is this three creativity spiritual career here? All right, you see how this card is bent? Let me take that. It says family time, build, connect, check in. So that's what you're doing now. I feel like now you have the time because you freed up yourself to check in with those that are most important to you, to your immediate family, to even your extended family. But it's like now this is a time where you're going to reconnect, um, you know, reconnect and and perhaps strengthen the bonds with your family you know this three is the empress so she is maternal she is the maternal figure she could be the matriarch uh, so maybe connecting with your mother maybe building um, a stronger solid connection with your mother maybe even partnering partnering up with uh, a maternal figure figure and going into some sort of uh, business together or collaborating together we have where have you been all of my life here on the bottom of the deck so you all are coming into a very beautiful, a special, a very special union, just like that song was singing, because it's like, where have you been all my life? So this is like meeting someone that you feel is like your match. This is like someone that could be like the male version of you or the female version of you, like you have so much in common. This is like someone that you feel like you can, um, you know, build a family, grow with. So why is this 26 love partnership here for my beloved? Scorpios for what's hidden in the energy spirit and then we're going to wrap it up why is love partnership here for my beloved Scorpios for what's hidden in the energy let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit why is love partnership here let me get a message of peace power and protection beautiful souls all right, so it says treat yourself, you deserve it. Self-love is the best love. And then we have selfish loving me, myself, and I. I can't make this up. So what you're attracting to you is you're attracting a like mind. Like you've walked away from things that don't serve you. I see you like this is positive movements forward. The eight is giving me like the eight of cups. And the eight of cups is all about self-love. This is about knowing your worth. This is also about knowing that you teach people ultimately how to treat you. And you've given so much of yourself in the past. You're no longer willing to do that. You're focusing on loving you. You're focusing on, you know, taking care of you, prioritizing you, treating yourself. Because you realize that self-love is more attractive. Love is an inside job. So this is about self-love. We got DMX here. And this is um, Hood Blues. So you've been through a lot of, you know, melancholy times, sad times. But I feel now you're more focused on creating a sacred space. I also feel spirit is reminding you to give offerings uh, to Mama Oshun specifically, particularly because she showed up. So doing like um, a ritual, you know, um, going to an ocean. You could give her yellow flowers. She loves yellow flowers, honey. Um, you could give her... Um, 
you can also give like you know um perfume but there's so many different um ways you could pay homage to mama um oshun so we have sacred space offerings honor your ancestors guide spirit team so definitely give uh offerings um and dedicate more time in front of your altars if you don't have altars uh, you may need to create one perhaps mama Oshun is like you know a maternal figure for you all like your spiritual mother and spirit could be saying um, you know mama Oshun could be telling you to connect with her energy so she could help you navigate uh, certain situations uh, with the sacred space I do feel like you have kind of moved away from certain things that were very difficult and now you are um, you're creating more of you know the safe space for yourself like a safe haven a sanctuary if you will so let's tap in let's see what it why is individuality physical activity domestic harmony and communication here for the outcome whoa 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 I'm only gonna take what is sitting upright all right so we have relax refresh recharge re re so that's exactly what you're doing. You're rejuvenating your spirit. And we have warrior spirit. You've defied the odds. So you have been like a fighter. You know, you've been a fighter. And look what it says here. Infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. So this is all about karma dharma. What you put out, you get back. What goes around, comes around. So there are infinite possibilities because I feel like you've planted seeds in good faith. And it's because you've braved your light. You've persevered through some really difficult circumstances and so that's always a beautiful energy to navigate when you put good energy out there you always receive that back in return so that's what I feel more importantly um, that this is saying here but there's also a need to like rejuvenate your energy rejuvenate your spirit um, you need to take like a vacation or go out in nature get out in nature be amongst the trees be amongst you know uh, bodies of water we have Marvin Gaye and Diana Ross and this is called my mistake was to love you so some of you all definitely was dealing with matters of the heart like a karmic connection where you could have definitely uh, been entangled with someone that did not love you right that did not honor you or honor the connection or could have taken you for granted or didn't appreciate and value you there was a lot of arguments a lot of fighting a lot of negativity and you had to learn to um, navigate that circumstance you had to learn to forgive yourself also for putting up with it. But I feel like you've you've definitely um, returned back to yourself. Like this is really showing that you've gotten back to one. You realize that you were in perhaps like a codependent circumstance or a codependent uh, connection. And you have um, since, you know, since walked away. You've made this, you've made the, the, the decision. You've affected this change. Because we see here with this creativity, how they feel about you with creativity, spiritual career, like you've reinvented yourself. And maybe the things that you've learned um, through this karmic lesson or through these karmic connections, this is what will uh, spark the spiritual career or this knowingness that you have um, a divine purpose or a particular life path. But this is your message, my beloved Scorpios. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I will that if the message is resonating, that you be kind. Hit the like button, the share button. Definitely hit the subscribe button and help grow the soul tribe, soul family. If you are new here, I do provide um, personal readings. So you can check out the link below in the description box. And it will take you to my site where you can book a reading with me. I do provide uh, emergency readings. Uh, which you will get within 24 hours. Um, I also have a one-hour reading and a two-hour reading, a very in-depth reading. Uh, for the emergency reading, you could ask three questions, um, and I will, you know, be sure to cover those during your reading. Um, I will pre-record your reading, and then I will email it to you. Um, it will all be done through YouTube, so I will record it on YouTube, upload it, and then you'll be the one provided the link. Uh, I also have an Etsy shop, so check that out. I have crystal trees on there. I have uh, wands that I make. I handcraft. Um, I have candles. I have a little bit of everything on my website and on my shop. So be free, feel free. Go check it out. But thank you so much for tuning in and tapping into all my beloveds returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, peace.